don't know me. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> then you're probably here to see ooh, the inches the bundles and how I made this wig on my sewing machine so if you stay tuned I definitely have all that broken down for you I could go into more detail but I don't want the video to get too long but if you guys have any questions feel free to click subscribe that has nothing to do with the questions but <laughs> subscribe to me and comment your um, questions down below and I'll definitely answer them you guys can see this is about 22 inches and I have a lace closure and some body wave bundles I straightened my hair um, because I wanted it to be straight and one thing about straight hair is I really like it to be long if it is gonna be straight because I'm such a curly girl this is like my alter ego but keep watching you guys and enjoy this is the dome cap that I'm gonna be using today. Um, I got it for $3 at my local beauty supply store. I went with mesh instead of the usual stretchy spandex dome cap because I think it will be easier for me to sew down. I haven't used this exact style, but I did a little YouTube research and I think that dome caps will be the best thing for me to do a frontal on. So this is really gonna be a first time experience for all of us, stay tuned. This is Bobby. This is what I will be sewing down my frontal on. And I don't have a styrofoam head. This is all that I um, use. And the head actually is styrofoam, so I'm still able to put pins through it. And I just Bobby, I mean, um, corro the hair back and put the dome cap on. And you'll see that now. Okay, so here is the frontal. I attempted to bleach the knots but I really didn't want to ruin the frontal, so I'm gonna bleach it again after um, I go ahead and put it down on the cap. So I'm using my iPhone for this part of it just because it's easier to maneuver. And I have here a mesh dome cap because this is going to make um, it easier when I try to sew down my bundles. And the reason why I'm using the mesh instead of a typical dome cap is because my sewing machine is going to sew through this material a lot more easy. So I'll come back and show you when I have it pinned down. So the hairline on this frontal looks pretty good. This is actually my first frontal wig that I'm making. I've made a lot of closure wigs in my time, but this is my first frontal wig. So I'm kind of just documenting it. Um, the closure I feel like looks really good. The hairline looks really good. And the hair is super soft. So I'm excited. So first I sewed down this portion right here. And on the other side, this portion right here. So I left where my sideburns will be kind of off and the construction of this um, frontal even has like a little demarcation to where it's like sewn under with the frontal and where they kind of left it loose. So I use that as my mark. And see here, I sew very close together, just the overhand stitch. I didn't do any like knotting with it. I just did an overhand stitch all the way around, which leaves the front kind of loose, but this is what you want it to be like. Your front shouldn't lay loose because, I mean, shouldn't hang tight because I'm gonna put the elastic when I cut my lace off and that's what's gonna hold my frontal nice and flat. And if you can kind of tell right here, that's where the dome cap is so I put my hairline of the frontal in front of where the in, um, end points of the dome cap are 
I left my conditioner um, on my bundles for about a day. I just washed them out. I laid them out to kind of dry before I start sewing. This is the 22 inch. This is, I believe, 18. And then I have hanging here my 20 inch. So I'm gonna be putting them um, across this cap from side to side. Right now I'm just gonna go ahead and test it out to make sure this is gonna be okay with my sewing machine. So I'm gonna try to record this as I do it. I'm gonna try to see if the phone will stay standing up. So you can see how I sew it down. I have my sewing machine settings on zigzag and wide stitch so that it will stretch and give some give a little when it okay so i turn my flash on i think that's better um i almost forgot i want to do this on camera i have some chalk here that i use um when i'm sewing and i'm just gonna go ahead and mark wherever i want to sew just to make sure that i have enough hair to get all the way to the front because i'm using three bundles and this is just going to ensure that When I'm sewing one, that my lines are straight. And two, like I said, to make sure that I have enough hair to go around the entire head. So I'll come back when I've gotten to about here. Okay, so I have my wig already down and then I line up this track with the mark that I just made with my chalk. All of my tracks are about an inch apart. Put my lever foot down and I just sew. And I decided to try this one day because it's just a lot faster than hand sewing. And the first wig I made came out really nicely. So I was like, okay, this is something that I can keep up. And I hope, hope you guys can hear me over, over the machine. But I kind of wanted to do a whole row just so you can see how quickly I'm getting these tracks down. Uh-oh. And sometimes that happens when I'm not careful, but I have in a heavy-duty needle. So I don't have any worries of it breaking or anything. And there we go. And I'm at the end of the row. And when I get to the end here, I just reverse it. And I go back over it one more time. And that's it for the row. I just go ahead and cut the track. So here are, <clears throat> here are the wig clips okay that i've sewed in and i like these they're not clips but like wig keepers i don't really like the snappy ones because i feel like my hair gets stuck in them and doesn't like lay flat enough for me and also sometimes it's hard to get off so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then i'll come back and you can see here that i have um a white elastic band I actually want to go back in with a strong black elastic band and finish the wig but this is just what I've been wearing um, for the week because you don't see it but I actually don't like the um, elasticity of this I want something that's a little more stiff and I just use this because it's what I had on hand and I didn't have a long enough and thick enough black strip that I wanted to use but here's the hair As you guys can see it has a lot of body very thick I had it straightened a little better I've been wearing it for the past couple days oh y'all I had to bring it back with the slow-mo because do you see these bundles oh mg 
I'm in love. I love this wig. But as you can see, that has a beautiful shine. The closure lays very nicely. It's a Kendra's Boutique, once again. Um, and I've gotten to wear it for a couple days, so I can actually say I've gotten a lot of compliments on this um, hair. And I don't know if, you know, people were trying to boost me, but some people didn't know I had a wig on. So, well, most people that said something, everyone isn't just like, hey, I like your wig. But, yeah, a couple people saw it and no one has really said anything and I love the color of this lace I was gonna tint it but as you you can kind of see like that matches me pretty good after I bleached it for some reason so I'm gonna come back with the wig on so see you in a second there's kind of um, not as straight as I usually have it but I've been wearing this for a couple days now I'm so annoyed <laughs> you can see my my um, part and everything looks pretty natural like I love this closure I love these bundles I've had my bundles forever I just got this Kendra's boutique closure like I said in um, my video if you've really been paying attention up until now but these are some older bundles I'm actually going to be dyeing them really soon so that will be another video it's a surprise you can't know what color yet so Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for, you know, watching. And hope you like this video. Let me be annoying real quick.